com, so you can go there and get all materials lists of what you need for the project and also what sizes you'll have to put your wood to. So I already have pre-cut pieces of wood and I already drilled my holes that I need. So those, all that information is on that handout, which you can download by going to the projects page on my website and then uh, clicking on the photo for the guide and it's, it'll be right there in a PDF. So yeah, we're just going to get started. Um, so this is kind of a cool design. I had stained, this is cedar and I had stained it. So, and it's been sitting outside for again, a year or two. So it's kind of a cool design where you can take out, you can take out the perch part and then you're able to remove this part section of PVC pipe. And then you can use it to clean it out. So if you have like some leftover things in here, you can clean it out and then put it back in. So I'm just gonna take that out of there. And then you can go and put it back in. So that's kind of a cool idea. Um, if you don't want to go out and buy a length of PVC pipe, you could just enclose this by getting a couple more pieces of wood and just have that all the way enclosed and maybe put choose to some one of the one of the pieces on it either the roof or one of these pieces that you can just have screwed in so you can take it off or you know hinged or something like that so you're able to clean out the inside and then i put there's two hooks up here for hanging it so um you can mount it a different way if you want but i just don't need a hanging version so yeah that's what we're gonna be putting together i'm just gonna set this to the side it's not my way grab my drill bit that I need. So I was using a 3 eighths of an inch drill bit to drill my holes for the perch and the ventilation holes in the back. So I'm just going to go back down to a 16th inch drill bit for the nails. Okay. And I'm going to be using some galvanized nails inch and a half nails for that's good for outside if you have stainless steel that would be another good outdoor nail um, if you're using if you're not using cedar for your birdhouse you can just use fur and then paint it or some other wood that's um, not necessarily um, sort of more naturally re resistant to decay over time so like cedar is a great wood for to use for outdoor projects because it's it, you don't even have to put a finish on it and it can hold up over time a lot longer than using just something like fur um, but costs a little bit more so yeah you can choose to do whatever you want you can stain paint whatever you want to do cedar does have a rough side generally so and a smooth side so think about that if you do want to paint your birdhouse um, you, you'll want to put the smooth side facing out as much as you can or get a power sander and sand down the rough side so that every both sides are smooth. So, let's see. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna put the rough side out. Uh, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> I just said my boyfriend just said he's saying hi. So fun times working at home. Um, so yeah, so this is gonna be our last of the this type of class for a little bit. Um, I'm probably gonna be developing some more projects, but I'm going to probably focus on some homeowner and renter classes, uh, things you can do at home. 
until we maybe start to do more of these. Um, we are not doing any classes uh, for the rest of most of this year with Tumalum, so we will be looking for alternative options and possibly making kits for to have people um, pick up. So we'll we're still trying to figure out what sort of format works best, but let us know if you have ideas. So okay, so the, this is going to be the front and the back. These two square pieces, and there's two rectangle pieces. One of them is taller than the other. You can see that against the white a little bit better. So that's going to be a roof piece. So the longer piece is going to lap over the shorter piece. That's one consideration. I mean, you could do that if you want to have an offset looking roof, but the design is to have the long one overlap the short, and that way the bottoms, it matches up where it, um, where it was designed to be. So but you're welcome to modify it. That was just one important feature. So I think what we're gonna do is, because one thing I noticed about this birdhouse that I made is I didn't have any nails on top connecting this piece of wood to this piece of wood. I was just connecting them to the square pieces and you can see that over time it's kind of worked away and it might still do that with nails as well, but I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start and have a couple of nails that I actually attach these two pieces of wood together um, in the one that I'm building today, and I might even add some in this one later. So I think we're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna set aside my two square pieces and then get these ready to go. So let's do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put rough side out, and I got my board set up right like that. So now I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna grab my pencil and measure. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna want, probably probably do like three nails, or maybe just two kind of closer in. Two or three nails, whatever you wanna do, that are gonna connect this piece to the other piece. So I'm gonna grab my tape measure. And I wanna make sure I remember I'm gonna have my, my hooks on top as well. So just think about where those might go and um, make sure you don't try to think about or make sure you don't put your nails where you're going to have your hooks screwing. So let's go in, let's see. I got to make sure I'm, I've got my wood the same width. Okay. That was right. One's a little bit wider than the other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I think this one is almost perfectly square, so I was a little bit confused for a second. Okay. So, seven inches wide, and we'll go in. So let's just go in two inches from each end and put a nail there. Um, actually, let's just do, never mind, I'm going to do, I'm going to do three nails, so I'm going to go one inch in from each end, and then half a seven is three and a half. Let's do that. And then we'll want to be three eighths of an inch in from the end. As you can see, from my indecisiveness, <laughs> it doesn't really matter exactly where you put your nails, so. Okay, so I'm going to drill three holes in those spots. And then I'm going to start my nails. So I'm going to grab these. Right. So I'm just get my nails in the wood so they're just about to poke out the other side. Grab my other 
piece. And if you have something to kind of prop your pieces up so you're not having to try to hold them yourself, that can be helpful. Or if you have a helper or a clamp, if you can get a, grab a clamp to clamp this together, um, that can be good for, I don't think I have a clamp right here, so I'm just gonna do this. Like this, just line it up and make sure I'm pressing down where they're overlapping and then just hammer it. have my roof put together. Bam. So that, now the next step is going to be adding our pieces. And so one thing, so we gotta think about this is going to here. And then we have, make sure, so this is the, the entrance hole. So that, you wanna put that um, towards the peak of the roof and then that's gonna be where our dowel sticks in. Hopefully, <laughs> might be a little bit more sandy. Um, so there, and then the back's gonna go back. So you wanna make sure you leave enough space for your pipe, and you know maybe even go a little bit wider just so you have a little bit of wiggle room and allow the wood to move, um, expand and contract. You know, if it's obviously gonna be outside, um, or I think uh, I shouldn't say obviously, but most likely outside. So the wood is gonna get wet and dry and have different, have those cycles of movement. So yeah, so just maybe put it on here like this and then, you know, get it to a place where you have a little bit of a gap, maybe like a 16th or an eighth of an inch on each side, like between the pipe and the wood, and then just take a tape measure and see. So you can have this where, you know, the back is all the way flush with the back of the roof. Um, and you have a little bit more overhang in the front, or you can just set it in like a little bit. I'm probably going to do something like this where I have a little bit less of a space in the back than the front, just so that the hole, the opening is more protected. So I think I'm going to go in, try something like that. Let's see, what does that measure? So really just kind of get the wood to look like where you think is good. Um, and, or you can measure along. So I'm going to set this. This uh, edge, we're gonna go in a half an inch from the outside. Um, and that's where we're gonna put this piece of wood. So I'm gonna translate that on the roof piece. So I have to nail, I'm gonna add nails here into this part and then from, from this other part into there. So I'm gonna need to make my marks. So you, if it helps you just keep it together like this to make your marks, you can do that. So just remember, you're not going to have a nail way down here because that's just going to be nailing into that. So you need to go up. This is three quarters of an inch. So you need to go up, I'd say, at least an inch and a half before you do your first nail. And I don't think my nails are long enough to get to hit where the holes are. Oh, so check that. If your nails are long, they might go into these little ventilation holes. So, yeah, I'm going to go up. I'm gonna go up two inches just to be safe so I don't not too close to the edge of my wood. So I'm gonna go up two inches and make a mark. And then I'm gonna go up. Mm, let's see. Five. Oh wait. Five inches. Okay, so two inches and then five inches. Okay, and then I'll just have to remember that for the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Do two inches and then five inches. Um, and so before I take that down, and we know we're going half an inch in, so we need to add half an inch plus three eighths, since three eighths is half of three quarters, so we want to nail it to the center of the wood. So half, quarter or half an inch plus three eighths. So half an inch would also equal four eighths. So four eighths plus three eighths is seven eighths. So and I'm gonna look at seven eighths, make mark, get it up here. 
And that is where we are gonna drill holes for this back piece on this plane of the roof. So from here, let's measure for the front piece, I think. So let's see, make sure my back is still at half an inch. My reference. Okay. And then let's go in. I could just look at my other one, see what I did. <laughs> I might do that. Um, see, the tightest it would be is an inch and a quarter, and that would just be really tight. So I'm gonna go, I'm probably gonna go an inch and an E, I think. See what I did over here. Oh, I did about an eighth, an inch and an eighth there. Yep, so inch and an eighth, I did half. Look at that. <laughs> I guess that's what my eyeballs, eyeballs like. Okay, so inch and an eighth is going to be the edge, the front face of that. So then we're going to have to add three eighths. So inch and an eighth plus three eighths is inch and a half. Well, that makes that decision easy. So, inch and a half, and then we'll come up with the same, two inches and five inches. And at this point, I'm just gonna take this off because for me, it's gonna be easier to mark, measure and mark this way. Okay. So two inches. Five inches. Okay, so now I've got my marks on this one. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go down two inches and make a mark. Five inches. The same thing on the back for the back piece. Two inches. Five inches. And then we went from the front. We did inch and a half. So inch and a half. Half is half inch. Okay. Alright, so now I have the spots where I need to drill my holes. And, you know, thinking about this again, it might have been easier to not put the two pieces of the roof together before we did all that. But um, what you could, well, actually, what you could do is just hang it off the side of the table like that. But you could also just drill in this way as well. But let's go with that and drill all of these holes so we can get them ready for the nails. they get glued together when they're made. So now we gotta remember what pieces went where. So this guy's gonna go back here. Let's see. Yeah. Um, and you know what I'm gonna do, I think, is actually draw on here and make sure this is 
half an inch or just make some marks just so I know that my edges are lined up correctly. Oh, you know what? I forgot to have my 3 for these ones. I have to redo those. <laughs> on that side but not this side <laughs> so, okay talking and building is not always the easiest thing let's see if it gets out okay let's take two on that so five or half inch plus three eighths and seven eighths Still makes it tricky. Alright. 
And then again, we're going to have this, the hole, the big hole is going to be facing towards the peak of the roof. You don't want to glue that since that's going to be the way you can clean out the, um, the area where they're going to make their nest. So just leave that be. And then um, we can attach the hooks. So we've got a couple hooks. I'm going to grab a drill bit. I'm going to see what size. Probably a little bigger than that. Generally, you want to have a drill bit just a little bit smaller than um, the threads of the hook. So generally, if you buy a pack of these, um, yeah, if they're not loose, it'll tell you what size of drill bit to use. But this is just about, there's kind of like the, um, the part that does, the center part that doesn't have the threads, or it has the threads, but the center part that's solid, and then where the threads go up the sides, like a, it's like a screw, basically. So you just want to match up the bit with the center. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway. So yeah, you're gonna wanna put a hook on each side of the ridge so that it hangs, so you're not putting two here and it's hanging sideways, unless you want it to hang like that, like I said, it's an option. Um, but um, you're gonna have one here and here, and then check out your screw length to see if if you go in, if it's going to go past your your roof thickness, so if, you, if you're going to go in more, then it might be sticking out the other side. It looks like I, I can just go not even quite the whole thickness of my my roof. So I'm just going to, you can put it really anywhere then, but I'm going to put it close to my ridge. And I think I'm going to use my original two inch, or maybe I'll go in a little bit more. Maybe I'll just do, I always change my mind. We'll see. We'll see. I 
do it. I got this one. Yeah. Okay, looks like I did less. I did differently. I think I went all the way into my pieces. So I just centered it with where I put my nails. So yeah, we could just we could do that as well. Um, either way. So I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in an inch and a half in from each end. And then up top, go down. Let's go down an inch and a half there too. pre-drill our holes. So you can use, these are called screw hooks, they're open. So they have an open, they have screw eye hooks where they're closed. So if you have um, hopefully this isn't going in to be a spot that's going to be super windy. Um, but if you're worried about the chain coming off the hooks, you might want to use a closed screw eye versus a screw hook. But I'm going to base the hook part down, and that is especially if the chain if the chain once the chain is, has tension on it, it isn't really going to go anywhere. So that strategy. Just twist these in by hand. Cedar's pretty soft, so it's not too tricky to do. Okay, and then add our hanging chain. it. There's our birdhouse. So if you do want to paint or stain, I would recommend doing that uh, before you, I mean you could do it once you put your hooks in I guess, but um, if you do it before, just pre-drill your holes and get it ready to go. And um, yeah, enjoy. So kind of a fun project for kids to do and then I can see watch the birds come in and out of the nest. So, but also fun for adults. Like, so again, if you just have this sitting down, it's gonna wanna come out of here with the open hooks, but if you have it hanging, it's not really gonna go anywhere, see? So, all right, that's our birdhouse. And again, our last class for a little bit while we plan ahead for the next series of classes. So, hope you enjoyed this and take care out there and we'll see you next time. Okay. Oh, I <laughs> have